Hey guys, my name is Sean, and today we're going to be talking about how to install Windows 7. Today I'm going to be doing something called, referred to as a custom install, because I'm going to be installing it to something called a partition. For those of you who don't know what a partition on your hard drive is, it's when you take your hard drive and you split it into a certain amount of spaces, so you can do something called double boot or triple boot. Now, I am also going to be using or installing Windows 7 Eternity, which is actually created by the Rockers team. It's slightly improved. It has all the registry edits already included, and I'm probably going to be doing a review of this a little bit later. And when I do, I'll put it in the sidebar. So now that you have Windows 7 and it's in your computer, just go ahead and click on Computer. And this right here should be the Windows 7 disk. So on regular Windows 7, you're going to be choosing your language and then pressing install Windows 7. On Windows 7 Eternity, just press install Windows 7 Eternity. Make sure to press yes. Now, this spot right here could take a little while, depending on how fast your computer is. Now, if you do actually want to go online and get the latest updates for Windows 7, you probably should go ahead and do that, but sometimes it could take a little while. So, for this particular tutorial, I'm just going to do I'm just going to press do not get the latest updates. For me, I'm going to be installing Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit, which is what x64 means. x86 means 32-bit. Accept the license terms and press next. Now, if you're simply upgrading, go ahead and press upgrade, but I'm going to be doing a custom install, as I said earlier. I've already made a partition called Windows 7 Eternity with 100 gigabytes in it, so let's go ahead and click on that one and press next. Oh, by the way, you might actually want to, uh, you might want to partition, I mean, you might want to format the hard drive, or the, uh, format the partition before doing this, because sometimes there's stuff in the middle and it could mess stuff up. And if you have a driver disk, you're going to want to do that too. So go ahead and press next. Press yes again, or okay. Now, this is basically the main part of installing Windows 7. I'm not going to go any farther than this because around, right after installing Windows 7 Eternity um, features and updates, it does restart and therefore the video will end. But basically from here on, this part is going to take a little while. If you on my specific rig, it takes anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. This part, expanding Eternity files, also depending on your rig, takes a certain amount of time. Overall, if you have a decent rig, it shouldn't take you more than an hour, an hour and a half. If you have a bad rig, it could take you three hours. If you have a very, very good rig like mine, it'll probably only take you about 45 minutes. So that's basically it, guys. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and look forward to the Windows 7 Eternity review. I'm probably going to be doing that next week. So thanks again. See you later.